it dips a little on the third beat in both hands, in fact, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I wouldn't get that slow at the end of that phrase. Yeah, because, you know, yeah, yeah, we're, you know, we, you're probably ready to do the tempo rubato, you know, that means take a little bit of liberty, you know, so that it feels improvised, you know, and, but even then, I would do a little bit of getting slower there, right? That is a good place, but not super getting slower, y'all. Yeah. But that was well done. One place I would um, dip a little more, um, let's see, the first time was nice. Dip it and dip it, but here, less. I think I would do the echo phrase. Dominance, tonic is less. Answer? Right, right, that's the answer to the dominant is the tonic, yeah? It goes from... E major seven chord to A major tonic. You're in A major here, yeah, throughout this section. Yeah, before it goes to the next page. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I so so what's happening is when you do this is dominant harmony to yeah. tonic. That's all it is. You dip it down a little bit. That's the sound. Yeah. That's perfect. See, because you didn't do too much getting slower. That was very nice. Okay. That was really nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Exactly. Because the destination note is the F, not the G sharp. It's the F, T, um, yeah. It's this, this that's right, here. and that's a very rounded F, right? It's a very rounded sound you want on that. Lean round on that F. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and then wrist forward on the A. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to smack a resolution note. You want to go forward, yes? Yeah. But that's good. You're that one forward, and then two off. And eventually you want the trill to kind of go connect into the D sharp so there's no gaps. Yeah, when you do a measure trill, let's say seven or five, whatever you choose to do for now, let's say you do five. One, two, three, four, five, connect. Right, exactly. So you don't have a gap. You know, it's interesting because, you know, where it's really going, it's still going to that F. Nobody wants to hear that D sharp too loud. In fact, you're skirting around the D sharp, again, you're like you're going, see what I'm doing? That's the outline of it. It's a very good thing to take the trill away and see how you would sing it or play it. You would go, Yes? autumn Goes to the F. Everything's winding and springboarding into the F, including the trill. <laughs> it's not like, you know, that we know we don't want to hear. So you always go, you always go, what I don't want to hear is, is an emphasized D sharp. Guess why? It's the second B, and nobody wants to hear one, two, three, like that. Right. First thing to do is no pedal, a uh, no trill. Then go. Yeah, yeah. You know what the melody, melodic outline is? That's exactly. Exactly. Exactly, that tells you exactly why you skirt around the D-sharp. You skirt okay. around it. That's a hard thing to do. You know why? Because you're coming out of a trill, and you've got to smoothly go, right? That's right. 
it's hard to do, isn't it? it can come crashing down on you. Okay. So do the slow trill, but think of the shape of the one, two, three, four, five, two, F, and so Of course, what could interrupt that beautiful upstairs is the downstairs getting too ponderous, right? So you have to think of the downstairs as horizontal, horizontal, right? The whole thing about this is we don't want the left hand to go so vertical that it affects the right hand starting to get vertical along with it. It has to go horizontal. Just because you have chords doesn't mean you don't think horizontally, right? That's better. You know why that was better? Because the left hand didn't come crashing down on the second beat. Because if that does, guess what happens? It doesn't save the right hand. And here's another thing you can do. You can just do this, watch. Right, remember that G sharp is another vulnerable place. Two places that can punch out are D sharp and G sharp. Those are two notes you want to elude, elude, like you elude, go around them, illusion. You go around the D sharp and you go around the G sharp. Because your, your destination here is the melted A at the end. All you have to do is not get so, uh, you know, do a fairly steady beat on it. A steady beat, basically. So G That's much improved. Yeah, that's starting to sound like Chopin, you know, very styled and very, you know, almost a sense of improvisation. Now, a lot of, of teachers will tell the student to get very slow at the end, but I'm not sure I'm convinced that's a good idea. I think the getting slow can be here, right here. And that for me is enough when I delay the last chord, you know. Let's see what happens. You have to experiment. See, I didn't do much of of anything getting getting slower, 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 slower. That can get really bogged down. Yeah, you know what I would do? I wouldn't let this get so disconnect, you know, so slow here. I'd say the slower really is from here to here. Go tea autumn. Uh-huh. That would have been perfect, except I don't think I'd stay so long on that G sharp before I went to the A. It's sort of like If I lingered anywhere, it's that destination F that to me is so important. Let me, and it comes from experimenting. Da -da -da. 